Hello, welcome back to another episode of Crumple Bottom University. Last time, Parents Weekend didn't go as planned. Juno and Blair's mom could not find common ground. Zara duked it out with her mean father. Cleo did all right, though. Speaking of Cleo, this episode, Cleo's doing a trial run living with her boyfriend Remington before they graduate and live together for real. And if that's not stressful enough, she has to juggle taking two finals and hosting a charity ball. So let's see if she can make it through. Good morning to the girls. It's the morning of their finals, so they are studying hard right now. Cleo has two finals today, so she has a lot of work to do. Blair and Zara only have one final today. Blair is kind of slacking off. Blair, if you're not gonna study, you should make everyone coffee at least. Of course, she'll make her famous gingerbread latte. Oh, <laughs> all right. Uh, Zara's final is in two hours. After they take their finals, they'll only have two semesters left. That's only two weeks in their big blue house. Boy, I'll, I'll sure miss this place. Won't miss this too much. It was cute the first like four times, but it's a little too much now. If you're wondering who's gonna take Hamlet, I'm gonna give Hamlet to whoever he has the highest relationship with, and I'm pretty sure that is Blair right now. We can check it out. Yeah, they are currently good friends. Let's see how Hamlet gets along with the other girls. Not too close to Cleo, they're just acquaintances. Oh, and in a true enemies to friends story, Hamlet and Zara are good friends. So I don't know, he might be coming home with Zara, or you might be coming home with Blair. Alright, Zara is on her way to her final exam. She's not running because she's late or anything. I think she just loves education. Definitely gonna sell this when she graduates. It's so janky. <laughs> Okay, and ooh, look at the windows. They're all frosted. I love that. I'm gonna have uh, Cleo make everyone a nice healthy breakfast for their finals. The Sims food definitely makes me hungry, especially the desserts. Oh! Well, look who showed up to breakfast, it's Pablo! Uh -huh. Let's catch up with our old dorm mate. Oh, and I, I actually checked in on Pablo. Um, I went into the dorms to check out all our old dorm mates and see what they're up to. And Pablo is actually dating um, Ryder. They make a really cute couple and I didn't uh, tell them to date or anything. So that's fun. Ah, Cleo's exam is in two hours. We'll see if we can get some cramming done before that. Great, Zara's done with her exam. And I'm sure she did great. And that's another semester in the history books. I don't know if that's the right phrase. Only two more left. My goodness. Now let's just watch Ashwin and Cleo sit in awkward silence. Cleo's like, I can't take the silence. I gotta leave. And Ashwin sits alone. Nope, just kidding, he's following Cleo probably. <laughs> to celebrate being done with another semester, I'm gonna have uh, Zara and Cleo play a game together or maybe do a puzzle together. And just a nice relaxing activity to take their mind off of everything. Oh. 
shape. Mm -hmm. Only come on, Boosh. Huh. Nuh-uh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh no, <laughs> Blair spent too much time out of the public eye. She's no longer a celebrity. It says that she's sad, but I don't think Blair really cares, to be honest. Uh-oh, Cleo better get her butt to class. Her first of two final exams. You're wondering why she's wearing a mini skirt out in the snow. It's so she can take pictures for Simstagram, obviously. <laughs> Wait, what did Pablo just say? Move it or lose it, on my way to class. <laughs> oh, Blair's actually cleaning. She's been doing a lot of cleaning lately. We're gonna have her call her girlfriend over and she'll comfort, or sorry, her fiance over and she'll comfort her. Uh, because she lost a fame level. Weird that we have to call Juno to uh, get her over here, even though she does live here. She's here a lot less than our other roommates for some reason. Yeah, Juno, I guess she has a busy social life. Zara picking up cross stitching? Cool. Now she and Blair can talk about it. They have a shared hobby. I think Juno is yelling at Blair because she hasn't uh, knit her anything. Blair needs to knit her something ASAP. Ooh, how about some socks? Juno would love that. Oh, definitely some raccoon socks. Oh no, and Cleo went from one exam to another one. Hey, Benvolio. Oh, having two finals back to back sounds really rough. Oh, I just saw Olive on screen and I forgot to mention that um, the last two semesters, they're, you know, their money's getting tight and we might want to ask Olive to be our roommate and contribute to our household a little bit. I mean, she's going strong with Ashwin, and she's good friends with everyone. So it only seems natural that she would join our household. Before we officially ask her to move in, we're gonna go on like a double date with her and Remington. Wow, so we have a lot of decorations now. We have a cross stitch and a new puzzle. I feel like we put all of our most random art in the foyer. <laughs> So we'll keep up that tradition. Oh, that's cute. Simple, but cute. Poor quality. Oh, look who's back. Pablo can't get enough of us. Maybe he wants some socks too. We'll knit him some socks later. This is such a busy day for everyone in college right now. Everyone's studying, going to class, cramming. Uh, oh my goodness. Blair's mom just called and said, What's up, Blair? One of my friends heard about how great you are and has been asking to meet you. Can I give them your number? Okay, but only if this is platonic. We know that Blair's mom doesn't really get along with her fiance, Juno. So as long as they're just friends, it's fine. But I don't trust my mom. Yay, and that is it. That was, oh, that is it. That was Cleo's final exam of the semester. And once she gets home and gets settled in, she is going to invite Remington to stay over for a few days. So tonight they're gonna uh, go out for dinner and uh, go on a double date with Ashwin and Olive. Tomorrow she has her charity gala with the sorority. So that's gonna be a ton of fun. But then the next day will just be a regular day of class and such. 
So we'll just see what it's like uh, living with Remington and just make sure that we're totally compatible with him before taking the next step after we graduate. Oh, and there's my mans. He brought his little suitcase. That's oh, his little pink suitcase. He's so cute. Is no one else gonna greet him? All right, Salem's just gonna walk on by. There's like four people in the living room just ignoring him right now. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Like she's giving him a massage. His back must hurt from uh, carrying that relationship. I wonder if Remington's like, hey, that artwork looks familiar. <laughs> we did steal it from his house. But he, he'll understand, and if not, we can just woohoo with him, and he'll forget all about it. Alright, and let's get Remington's suitcase out of the way, and we'll put it in our room together. Oh, and Juno has to go. She's really the Serena Vanderwoodson of this playthrough. And I guess while we're in the bedroom, we might as well woohoo. Zara's like, how could you say those things in front of my cross stitch? Also, not sure if you noticed, but I'm kind of anti-curtains. I like don't really love to put them in. <laughs> I guess sometimes they're necessary, but I don't know. I just really love uh, when the light comes in through the windows. But whatever, whatever. They're on the second floor. It's fine. Everything's fine. The only one watching is this frame picture of Ashwin. All right, guys, get out of bed. Uh, you got a double date you gotta go on pretty soon. Cleo's gonna brush her teeth and just get ready for her double date. Remington's just waiting in my room. <laughs> waiting for someone to tell him what to do. Oh boy, he's lucky he's so cute. All right, and this is Cleo's cute little outfit she's gonna be wearing on her at double date. We'll change Remington too. Yay, our grades came in. Oh, Zara got an A plus and another A plus, bringing her GPA to an A. Cleo got an A plus and an A plus, bringing her GPA to an A minus. Blair got an A plus and an A plus, and she is at an A plus. They all did so great. I'm so proud of them, as usual. Now they only have two more semesters left. Okay, now let's get out of here and go on our double date. All right, so we are at the fanciest restaurant in Crumple Bottom University land, Just Soup. Hopefully we can get a table. Of course, you can't go to Just Soup without getting some soup. Also, it's been pointed out to me that it's not Just Soup, it's also bread. Uh, so, disclaimer. Oh, Olive. She's always doing that. It's so nice of Remington to go out uh, with Ashwin and Olive. He doesn't really know them well. Um, but yeah, Remington, he's just such a sweetie. Olive has not eaten her soup. I'm a little confused about that. Do aliens not eat? I don't really play with aliens too often, but 
All right, well, she's not gonna eat her food. Can't I can't force her. So I will pay for a meal. So we're gonna head over now to this karaoke place and it is alien themed. And I thought that would be a polite thing to do for Olive because she's an alien. Um, just to show her that, you know, we support her. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna head over there right now. All right, here we are. Olive got lost. Remington's like, I'm not gonna wait for her. Um, but let me do a quick little tour of this place. It's really cool. So this is it. I think it's a really cool place. Uh, I love all the alien decor. Oh, and I forgot this place has a photo booth. <gasps> Cleo's like, get out of my way. <laughs> Ugh, are you kidding? I got a mod that is supposed to make them stop doing that stupid cowpoke dance everywhere. I guess it's not working. You guys need anything in there? Okay, <laughs> let's go do some karaoke now. Alright, let's sing a duet with our mans. Oh, Olive is doing her homework. Honestly, I'm excited for the girls to graduate so everyone stops doing their homework in the club and at parties. <laughs> Alright, come on guys, let's grab our drinks. And then maybe we could sit down somewhere and just chat and get to know each other better. Oh my god, I didn't realize that Olive cleared our memory of our friendship. I didn't know that's what she was doing. I was like, why can I now introduce myself to Olive? I can't believe we have to start all over with Olive. We were good friends before this. All right, well, it is getting pretty late. We should probably go home. Hopefully Olive is still interested in moving in with us, even though we lost our entire relationship. I can't believe it. Oh, and of course, Remington came back with us because he's staying with us. Well, we should really go to sleep. We've got a big day tomorrow our first day of classes and Cleo has her sorority charity ball. For some reason it says that Blair already took her final exam even though she hasn't even started class yet so I'm not sure what that's about. <laughs> Cleo has class in eight hours and 14 hours. Oh my gosh what a busy day. at Remington making himself at home. Oh, and Ashwin is doing a chore. Oh, Remington is up and hanging out with our roommates at 1.15 a.m. Wow, they're all up. You know what? I, it is weird that none of our roommates sleep, <laughs> but maybe they're just doing college a little better than us. I mean, this is the quintessential college experience, I think. Just staying up and doing the little cowpoke dance with your boys. All right, Blair is going to wake up really early because she's so hungry. <laughs> 
And since she's up early, she can get a head start on her homework. Oh, Cleo should probably wake up too. She has class soon. Oh my God, Remington's cooking too. That's so nice of him. Oh, Cleo really needs to cram and get her homework done for class. She's one hour. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> the coffee maker and the sink are both broken. Oh my gosh, and Remington is helping us clean up the puddles. He's the best man. Okay, we are filling out the paperwork right now, but it looks like Olive is going to be our new official roommate. So we'll add her to our club too. Oh, and uh, I guess that means we'll have to redo Ashwin's room a little. All right, we'll just scooch that over. That right over there and maybe get that chair out of the way uh, we'll just we'll put that right over here and let's see what else maybe should we remove this picture of <laughs> Krognak <laughs> or should we make it bigger ah perfect <laughs> should we make a Krognak mural <laughs> Oh, it's gonna move right out if she sees this grognag mural. Okay, okay, no. We, we don't want to do that to her. We'll, we'll keep it the same size. All right, there we go. Now the room is ready for her. <laughs> oh, and there she is. Let's welcome her. <laughs> Yay, welcome to the house, Olive Doyle! And Cleo is out of class. She's got to run home, pee, do her homework, and then go to her next class. She is such a busy woman. Also, something interesting is that it looks like Cleo's not going to have to take any final exams this semester. All she has to do is submit a term paper and give a presentation. So that's kind of a relief. You look at that. All the girls are doing their homework together. Okay, Cleo is out of class. She's gonna go home and, uh oh, she's be she better get her energy up. She's gonna need it for the charity ball. Cleo's going to have some coffee and judge herself up. We'll talk to Remington while we're here. Cleo is just calling her sorority sisters right now and telling them that she's on her way. All right, we are here at Von Haunt Estate. We need to collect 10,000 simoleons from people. I wonder if this ghost has any money. Wait a second. Mimsy is a young adult? I always thought she was an elder. Anyway, we've got to hit up these people for cash. So we need to make sure that they are well fed and having fun and yeah. So it's a beautiful venue. We have this big party room for dancing and such. And Belair has graciously uh, volunteered to be the DJ at this event. Then across the hallway, we have this nice uh, dining area. Oh great, Mimsy is haunting one of the speakers, but that's all right. Blair is a professional, she can deal with this kind of thing.
Look at this girl boss. She's so in charge. Alright, let's eat first and then we'll start hitting up people for cash. Alright, we're gonna request a small donation from Pablo. All right, Ben Volio. Let's see how much you have. Oh, woo. Whoa! Look at all the cash we're getting. Now I know this woman is rich. <gasps> it's for charity. No, what? Ashwin gives off rich vibes. Let's ask him for a donation. I know it's bad, but I'm sure he'll give us a large donation. I'll be like, yes, please take everything for my savings account. <laughs> nice, we're almost halfway there. All right, Tinsel, why don't you put your money where your mouth is and give it to me? I think that ghost just tipped Blair. <laughs> Oh man, and she's haunting the speakers again. We'll ask Ryder for a small donation. Oh great, we're more than halfway there. Wait, what? It's over already? Your charity benefit was a hit. Your guests are impressed by your charitable act and have awarded you a frame certificate to commemorate your good deeds on this day. We didn't hit our goal, but I guess we did raise a ton of money. All right, well, I guess now that the ball is over, I guess we can all dance together now. Okay, okay, I think it's time to go home. <laughs> and we're back. We got this plaque. It's an uh, authentic certificate of completion. We'll just put that in the foyer with the rest of our random stuff. But it's already nine o'clock. So we're just gonna start settling down and get ready for tomorrow. Oh no, Zara's laptop broke. We'll have Blair fix it. Oh, in her fancy dress. <laughs> She's like, don't worry, I don't need to change. Zara, you can't keep downloading mods on your computer. You're going to break it. Uh, are they having some sort of meeting out here? Look at them! <laughs> we'll have Cleo and Remington go to bed together. Alright, and Zara is asleep. All three girls are asleep. Who knows where Juno is? <laughs> She's always out and about. Oh my gosh, Remington is up in the middle of the night, cleaning the sink. He is a mensch and a half. This is Olive's first night. She's eating some sort of soup and Remington is making waffles. What is she eating? Wild nut soup at two o'clock in the morning. Zara actually does need to wake up early because she has a morning shift at the library coffee shop. And I actually want Cleo to uh, go with her because Cleo has no classes today. So she has time to work on her presentation and her term paper at the library. Oh, and Blair is awake bright and early because she's hungry. If there's one thing Blair's gonna do, it's get a midnight snack. 
Oh, and Remington made fresh waffles for her. He probably knew. Remington is so sweet. I just love him so much. And I think this really solidifies uh, the fact that I really want him and Cleo to spend the rest of their lives together. Hey, Remington. Oh no, Zara had a nightmare. They were a contestant on a reality TV show being criticized by a demanding judge with a nice mustache. Is she okay? <laughs> Well, Zara can eat some waffles and hopefully get past this. Oh look, they're eating waffles together on the porch. I did not tell them to do this. And Remington is grilling something. Oh! Uh-oh, Olive is already sleeping on the couch. I wonder if she and Ashwin had some sort of falling out. Okay, and now Zara is going to go upstairs and get ready for work. And Zara still has one more hour before she has to go to work, so she will continue to work on her presentation. Cool, Blair is getting even better at knitting. Oh no, I think Zara is stuck. <laughs> now Minso is helping Zara out a little with her presentation. All right, it's time for Zara to head over to work. Oops, I forgot Cleo's coming. Wake up, Cleo. You have two minutes to get ready. Okay, here we are at the library. It is so early, but people are still coming in to study. We'll have Cleo come upstairs and work on her term paper up here. Oh my gosh, Zara's mom is here. What is she doing here? And she's talking about money, of course. Oh, this is so awkward. <laughs> Maybe this ghost will break the tension. Well, at least my mom tipped me. Maybe my mom feels awkward about how things went uh, during Parents Weekend when Zara yelled at her dad for being rude and having a bad attitude. Either way, Zara has work to do so she can't be chatting all day with her mom. And Cleo should take a break from her term paper and get some food because she is hungry. Cleo just walked right by Zara's mom. Did that ghost order a cookie? Yeah. <laughs> all right, Sarah's work day is done. So let's all go home. Oh, uh, we're back home and look who it is. Sloan is here. Oh, and look at uh, Cleo's cozy little college outfit. I love that. 
Of course, Remington is being the best house guest ever, doing the dishes. Since Remington's time staying over is coming to an end, I just, uh, just a little something special planned. We're just gonna quickly check in with Remington and just see if he is feeling uh, as good as we are about this experience living together. Remington says, I love you. Oh, okay, Remington. Let's just go for a little walk outside. We'll just, uh, we'll just go right over here. Oh no, he has to pee. <laughs> oh, great. We'll make this quick. No me, Merja? Yips, yips, yips. He said yibs. Yeah, that's right. Cleo proposed to Remington. Ah! Woo! Go crazy over here. Woo! Sorry. The uh, few days we spent with him really opened our eyes. And we just can't imagine life without Remington now. So I hope Remington wants to have a big family because Cleo wants to have four kids at least. Anyway... That's it for this episode of Crumple Bottom University. I can't believe Cleon Remington got engaged. Woo, so exciting. Next time they'll have a little shindig to celebrate their engagement, and then they'll only have one more semester of college left. Oh my goodness. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time on Rumplebottom University. Woo!